Season 34, Episode 25, Podcast. Greetings and welcome to One Spiritual Love, Spirituality in a Modern World. Presented by Unispherical Muse. Now, it's a lovely day as I'm sitting here waiting to clock in to go to work. It's dark and Miss Moon, and that is not Miss or Mrs., it is Ms. Moon. She graces us with our presence. As all planets, they all go through phases, and these are called life force energies. Just like humans go through their phases, and their phases are attitudes, personalities, etc., etc. Now, the energy is ionic energy, and an ionic energy is time, space, and mass matter in 3D, third dimension. Then as you travel, astral travel through the galactic different planets in this solar system and other solar systems, you begin to understand more and more the question of the day. Now, as a Gemini, air sign is analytical, okay? In feng shui, it's metal, mind, mental, you see? So the element is metal, and the element of the five different elements, air, earth, fire, water, wood, pertains to air. So Gemini is metal, mental, air, because mind, we think analytically. Now, it's like everything is like a puzzle. You gotta put it all together. Ooh, this is fun, let's play this game. Okay, here we go. Now, the question is, is that you are a zero in the center of infinity because you are a being, a human being. Now, when the being takes action, it becomes a number one. So when you're zero, you are the tarot card of the fool. You're not in action. You're just being. You're just existing. Now, when you take action, you are now having a thought. That is a number one, and that is the magician in the tarot deck because you are now taking action. Now your action, depending upon what level of emotional being you are, as to what you are projecting through the ethers, through your portals, into the, what? The galactic energies. Why do you think science is discovering more and more the black holes in the universe? Well, lo and behold, you're creating it with your negative energy, your negative vibes. You get what I'm saying? So when you're looking at the time sequence on the timeline, you've got, say, number one. So number one could be a minus one or a plus one. A minus one is a negative ion energy. A plus one is a positive ion energy. That's just basic science. That's logic in metaphysics. All right. Now, the question is, it's so simple, but yet for most humans, it would boggle their mind because they don't think outside the box. You're out of kindergarten, you're allowed to color outside the box, okay? So, the question is, is that your ionic energy is receiving from the planetary movements, such as the moon or Venus, tectonic plates and Earth. So you're receiving these vibrations. Now, you creating your karma are sending those vibrations out. And that's how you get to black holes. You see what I'm saying? So that energy comes out. Through the portals, which are through your chakras, because your aura is your emotional body being, goes through the portals, and the portals are 4D, 4th dimension, into 5D, 5th dimension, which then, lo and behold, will attach to other particles. Particles are the questions, the parts are the answers, this is the doors in your mind that create the whole body of being. Now, 
when you are sending your ionic energy, it transcends, all right? That is transcending the transparency of cosmic consciousness. So it transcends into another life form, which is the life form energy. So are you sending, you are sending this life form energy called ionic energy to the moon, all right? Because the moon had just sent your vibration, it then travels through the portals, you receive it, and now it goes back to the moon? This is the question. If you are creating the black holes in the universe, how do you not understand that the residuals in the ripple effects actually coincide with the moon and Venus and all the other jazz, right? So, if you are picking up its frequency, frequency is changing the dial on your radio station to get different channels. So, if you are collecting the frequencies of vibrational vibrations of rhythmic rhythms, how is it that those planets are not receiving your ionic energy? And you are creating another atmospheric energy. You see how that flows? That's why you are the zero in the center of infinity. All right? Now, as science goes through, you know, it's all baby science. Because uh, <laughs> American Medical Association's only been around a few hundred years. And then the World Medical Association's been around for thousands of years. Okay? It's not rocket science, but it's logic. Now, when you understand how the scientific mind works in logic, and logic is in 5D fifth dimension, mathematical equations, it's pretty simple to the point, all right? Now, when you understand how this energy flows through the ethers, through the portals, you actually see it in action because you're a seer. I am a seer, you are, but you, you deny your natural innate born talents called bird skills. Now, when you see this happening, it's like so logical. How do people not see the particles that are part of the whole? It's logic. Okay, so you can see how something is formed in a life force energy. And the forming creates another life force. Now, as we see all the, um, you know, Jesus Christ and everybody else, in astrology, Jesus Christ is the Pisces. And that's why we only have 12 astrology signs. You see? And that's the end of that. That's the end of, as they say, the end of an age of Aquarius. All right the golden era, and so on and so forth. Now, after that, there are no more planets. And science is discovery number 13. This was, I don't know, maybe last year. It was all over the news. Now, when you understand that that next planet, number 13, and they think number people that are superstitious, number 13 is bad, well, lo and behold, in numerology, 13 equals a four. And what does four mean? It's called work. What is life? A four-letter word. What is work? A four-letter word. So you come to this establishment called life in earth ionic energy to create work. It's work learning about you. It's called tough love. Now, the next planet the number 13 is actually going to be, it's so logical. That will be what people will call the Antichrist. You see what I'm saying? So they say science went through and, and the Earth has rotated a bit, changed its axis and all that good jazz in the scientific realm of baby science. Now, <laughs> when you understand actually science been around for thousands of years, it's logical that the 13th planet is going to be your antichrist. 
and the Antichrist has been born. That's why science discovered it. Because when you understand the planetary movement, because you are a seer, you know exactly what is the next direction in the positive or negative ions. All right? Now, the Antichrist is simply creating a moment in time to make you change what it is you are doing. Because obviously you're not doing what is correct for you or your habitat called the environment. So you're here for a wake-up call, folks. That's what happens when people create their own illness, sickness, and disease. It's called a wake-up call. The universe will smack you upside the head and say, you stuck in your rut? I'll give you just something to write about. You get a nail and a sickness and disease, and now it's time to wake up. It's called a wake-up call. So the 13th planet is technically the Antichrist. <laughs> but you all can't see it because you're thinking in 3D, third dimension, the human five senses. Get out of the muck. Get out of kindergarten way of thinking. You're allowed to color up southern lines. You're allowed to step out of that cave man, cave woman, cave person way of thinking. Dude, that was millions of years ago or thousands of years ago or whatever you want to float your boat in. Fact is, it is a wake-up call for change. Get with the program, people. The program is called life. Life is called work. Discover who it is who you are. When you discover who you are, then you can begin to understand a person, place, and thing outside of your environment because that is called the extrovert of self. The introvert of self is your world internally. Get with the program. And you must prepare yourself for you. Hello. That's <laughs> the only entity of ionic energy you are working with to build in personal growth. Each and every moment of your life in the existence in Earth atmosphere in 3D third dimension. It's called logic, folks. It's really a beautiful song and dance in a mathematical equation in 5D fifth dimension mathematical equation. And like love, love is life. Blessings from Dr. Reverend, Reverend Dr. Winita Lewis, DDIV, PhD, and thank you for your support.